You all right? <laughs> oh, I managed to drop my keys in the canal this morning. What really worries me? They were still in my car. <laughs> Good evening, Comedia. Uh, my name's William Stone, uh, or as I'm known in Europe, William 6.35 kilograms. <laughs> Interesting fact about me, I'm blind in one eye and almost all my other organs. <laughs> now, uh, I'm not normally one to brag, but I've got this friend. <laughs> what else can I tell you? <laughs> uh, I don't have any pets uh, that I know of. <laughs> Well, you've probably guessed by now, but I'm uh, quite a philosophical person. Uh, never afraid to ask the big questions in life, like, before there were London buses, what did we use to measure blue whales? <laughs> if you're not supposed to drink WD-40, why does it come with a straw? And perhaps the biggest mystery of all, what does impress Shania Twain? <laughs> I realized how stuck in the past I am when I was in Woolworths the other day. <laughs> Nationwide must have looked pretty silly when they opened the first branch. You never see recluses anymore. <laughs> so I, uh, I went to passenger information this morning. They couldn't tell me anything about the guy behind me. the train into London this morning. Now, I'm not saying I'm a total legend. However, <laughs> uh, I did give up my seat for someone on the train. Thanks. Thanks, thanks. Thank you. If I'm being honest, I wasn't really sure how to drive it. <laughs> so, uh, I live in Brighton now. I don't know if you've ever been. It's... Um, it's a very fashionable place, as you can tell. <laughs> Everyone's into ethical shopping in Brighton. Wherever you go, you see organic this and fair trade that. And don't get me wrong, do you think that's good? But it's definitely gone a bit far when even your dentist is going on about local anaesthetic. There's a restaurant on my road that serves food with an Asian twist. <laughs> now, if you don't know what that is, it's the politically correct term for a Chinese burn. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever make enough salads to justify having a dressing room. I 
I eat a lot of microwave meals at home. They always say on the box, pierce lid in several places. Who's got time for that? I just do it in the kitchen. Never been very good at cooking, never been very good at it. But it's like my mum always says to me, William, you can't make an omelette. <laughs> uh, had a pretty normal childhood, uh, two parents, both unplanned. <laughs> uh, me and my mum were really close. Every year for my birthday, she would lay on a buffet, which made it really hard to eat. <laughs> uh, my mum collects bonsai trees, until one night, a favourite bonsai got nicked out the back garden, and she was really upset. So the next morning, I got up extra early, and I went all around town, putting missing tree posters on all the cats. My dad was a funeral director. Nothing you'd have seen. <laughs> Did you know, if you get every Tom Hanks film on VHS and you lay them out end to end, they don't let you back in the charity shop. <laughs> If I could only watch one film for the rest of my life, it would have to be Groundhog Day. <laughs> uh, you guys have been lovely. Before I go, uh, I'd just like to do the other half of my set. <laughs> uh, when I was a kid, <laughs> my favorite TV show was The Golden Girls. Right, lads? And, um... <laughs> Uh, I think it had a big impact on my taste in women. Because <laughs> uh, ever since then, every woman I've been out with has been totally fictional. <laughs> <laughs> I like my women like my tins of Quality Street, stacked near the entrance of Asda. Now, what really does it for me is husky voices. Mm. <laughs> no other dogs, though. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I started high school, I really wanted all the Ab Fab stationery. And my dad wouldn't let me. He said, if you go into school with... He was shorter than me. If you go into school with absolutely fabulous on your pencil case, you're going to get bullied. <laughs> Joke's on him. I got bullied anyway. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, get not down. A friend of mine... <laughs> a friend of mine at school started experimenting with drugs, and he once got so high, he thought... He could cut off his own hands. Yeah. Well, the first one was easy. <laughs> if I could only watch one film for the rest of my life, it'd have to be Groundhog Day. <laughs> you guys have been great. I've been William Stone. Cheers.